I got a great one for y'all today. So with the advent of Chinese labor becoming more expensive and Mexican labor becoming more expensive, capitalism <laughs> will not allow prices to rise the way they're supposed to. Like there's a reason why people at dealerships are paying like $100,000 for a fucking car. Um, the reason is, is because that's what a car's actual value is, right? You know, when you have cars that are going for 40000 and people are paying 130000 140000 to have them delivered to them, it's because that's the price that they're willing to pay. But car companies don't want to raise the price because they're scared that they will lose market value and or marketplace or uh, market market size, right? Market size, something, something along these type of lines. Anyway, it doesn't matter, right? So... What they've been doing is instead of standing here, you know, I mean, like raising their prices and paying more for people, Kia and Hyundai have decided, and it's probably not the only ones, that they're going to basically do what they do in China, where they just, you know, bring in 10 and 11 and 12 year old kids to fucking work in the back. Right. This is kind of fucking amazing. Right. A former production engineer told Reuters he worked with at least 10 miners and six other ex-employers. Employees of agents said they, too, worked alongside multiple underage laborers. In two separate statements sent by the same public relations firm, Washington and Ajahn said their policies forbid the hiring of any worker not of legal employable age. Using identical language, both companies said they hadn't, to best of our knowledge, hired underage workers. Right. So who are these underage workers that they're standing here using? Hmm. I wonder where they went to go get these. Right. Hmm, let's see here, because this is super duper interesting, right? Basically, they stood here and went and got workers from Guatemala, right? They sat here and brought in 10, 11, and 12, and 15-year-old children from Guatemala to go work in your fucking American factories. And not one of you American goy slop eating fucks are ever going to even care. Not one. It is what it is. It's reality. You didn't care that the Chinese people had nets around the building to catch them when they were trying to commit suicide, right? You didn't fucking care, you know what I mean, when, like, workers were over here, like, you know, trying to, you know, like, fucking send out messages for fucking help. You never cared. You only care about continuing to have your cheap fucking trinkets. That's all that matters to you. It's, it's terrifying to me. Legitimately, it, it's fucking horrifying that this is a reality that we have to face, that you people are so fucking soulless, such brain dead fucking consumers that you're willing to allow this to just fucking happen. Like, I know, like, I I don't really have a problem with, like, child labor as a whole, right? I don't, I don't really have an issue with the fact that, you know, kids go to work with their parents or go to work, you know, and earn money for the family. I have no issue with these type of things. I have a problem where... You people won't care that they're importing fucking cheap Guatemalan fucking children laborers and fucking trafficking children at major corporations to make your fucking cars so that you can pay under the price of what they would have to make in Detroit if it was union labor. That's my problem. You people don't care as long as the price is at the right price, at the right at the right number. It's fucking tragic. Now, I'm Tom Pease with Pino News. You'll know the deal. Like, share, and subscribe, motherfuckers. You know, I'll be back later. Peace.